I've been doing this for a gecko. 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 Must take it up like <laughs> What's going on, man? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic. We are live on the Industry's Most Wanted podcast. Listen, I got one of my guests checking in today that came out and just showed out at my 10 year anniversary, Industry's Most Wanted 10 year anniversary. And I extended to him an invite. He drove out here from Jackson, Mississippi, right? Yeah. Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, Jackson, Tennessee. Okay. <laughs> Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, well, I'm familiar with Jackson, Tennessee, too, now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out my partner, Dorilla, from out there. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. okay, my bad. Jackson, Tennessee. Let's get it right. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Dat Boy Zell, D-A-T-B-O-Y-Z-3-L, the original Dat Boy. I'm done saying it. Talking back. Because <laughs> <laughs> I be seeing a lot of people call themselves Dat Boy. I'm like... Y'all wasn't that boy until, you know what I'm saying? Listen, like, I already know how that goes. There'd be 2000 a, what? I was that boy since 2015. There'd be a lot officially, of people imitating. I already know how that goes. Officially. You see the shirt? <laughs> see the shirt? Show them the shirt, you know man. Pop your collar you know real quick. Boom. You see that? that? I bet y'all ain't got no meaning for that boy either. That was the first thing I seen when he got out the car. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I like that shirt, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah, out here representing your brand. Yeah. Um, so you originally from uh, Jackson, Tennessee? Yeah, I was born in Jackson, Tennessee, and um, I was raised in Montezuma, Tennessee, and okay. Jackson. So that's like, you know, two places. I moved around in Jackson a lot, but originally I started from... Well, everything started as in Montezuma, Tennessee. Understood. All right, so let's talk about that a little bit before we get into what you got going on right okay. now. Um, you know, take us back, you know, your your childhood in, in Jackson. What was it like for you? Jackson, you know, I learned a lot in Jackson, especially on the east side of Jackson. I learned a lot, like, because I'm from, you know, I, like I said, I was from, raised in Montezuma, which was a church home. Yeah. I was raised in a church home. You know, my grandmother, my, my mother, my, my sisters, and, no, we all live in our Shout out to the strong yeah. ladies in the family. Yeah, my aunties. Yeah, everything. <laughs> everything was a gospel environment. So okay, that's beautiful. But when I came to Jackson, <laughs> golly, man, I'm like, <laughs> it was way that, different. Yeah, it's like, like night and day, huh? I mean, it's like, <laughs> man, like in Henderson, uh, Mount Azuma, Tennessee is in Henderson, Tennessee. Okay. But anyway, it's like a small community. Anyway, um, it's a lot of racism down there, but wow. everybody. You know, they'll stick up for you. When I came to Jackson, you you, you by yourself, man. Like, everybody accepted. Like, they call you, like, like a white person. They call you an N-word. But the black people like, man, like, why, why are you tripping for No, nah, for cool, real. They cool. I'm like, what? Yeah, you know. We used to beat them down in Chester County, man. <laughs> Montezuma, man. Sometimes you got to do that to put people in their place because that's just what it is. Like, it, I just honestly, and we could get into a whole nother conversation, but. The fact that we're in 2022 and that stuff is still going on is beyond me. Like, my son is 28 years old, right? Uh I got a grown man for a son, and my son is biracial. His dad is black. Mm -hmm. So let's take it back 28 years ago when I was coming out of high school. I caught a lot of flack. People used to call me an in-lover and call my son a half-breed. Like, I dealt with so much stuff, and I'm just like, from my own race. Yeah. I'm just like, dang, people are so ignorant. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time. We are the same race, man. It's, it's human we're the human race. race. Human race. Human race, bro. different colors, man. Man, and, and listen, and I think it's so beautiful that we got so many colors out there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We wouldn't want to all walk around and look the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, it's crazy. Trust me. I, I'm sure I haven't caught it as much as you because you're a young black man. Right. But, like I said, going back, you know, having a biracial son, 28 years ago there was still a lot of racism back in the 90s like that and i dealt with a lot of that and i'm just like wow it's just the ignorance of some people you know what i'm saying that's Makes all it is, is ignorance man. it is racism is it's ignorance. ignorance big ignorance nah for real and you know <laughs> big ignorance fortunately within my family i never dealt with that like i it was never an issue from my parents or my grandparents that you know i dated interracially and my son is biracial like I said, and I guess that's why I never really understood it because I wasn't brought up around that. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's yeah. that. That's, boy, we could do a whole nother show that's on. That's how it. I got this guy right here. Fighting, fighting, man. racism. Man, I got hit with a pole when I was young. I beat him down one by one. 
Man, at look, a young age now. I'm talking about babies. Well, let me, let me ask you about that if you if we don't mind talking about it for just a minute because it, it's a subject that's very near and dear to my heart because I used to feel like I had to protect my son. My son's a black man, mm-hmm. you know, even though he's biracial, he is a black yeah, man black. in yeah, society's yeah. eyes. And I used to have people talk, you know, like I said, calling him half breeds and this and that. Mm-hmm. And I always feel like I had to go to to bat for him, which of course I would. That's my boy, you know what I'm saying? But how does how do you overcome stuff like that? I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta keep moving forward, man. You just gotta, you really can't. I mean, it's it's not it's not gonna stop. No, right. So you just gotta learn your history and just just move forward. That's about it. Yeah, just I just keep fighting. Don't fight physically because that's that's ignorant too. Right. You it, could go, we could go to jail. Exactly. Us, we're going to jail. Right. Black men, we are going. Young to black jail. men or old black men, go, you're going to jail. We're going to die. If the if if uh, you know what I'm saying the police you gonna do what the police say we will die no nah, for real they will kill us y'all they will let y'all go some of y'all yeah you know they might not it's let me lot. go because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go crazy some, too now yeah it's, 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 some, it's, some, it's some it's some it's some white people some Caucasians that's um that's getting killed by the police too absolutely some of them too. So it, it's crazy because, you know, they don't they don't put that in the media. No, they don't put that in the media. They advertise us as violent. And but to, to speak on violent. something else, some of these young black men need to tighten up because they're killing each other, too. Yeah, we're killing each other. You yeah. know, Memphis is heavy with that. So it's like. I don't know. I'm just like, we getting off on a sidebar real quick, but I don't mind talking about it because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's something that's very heartfelt for it, me. It, it needs to be talked it about. It needs to be talked about. And, um, you know. It needs to be talked about. I, I totally agree. And I just think that, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I'm the type of person that I try to really find the good in everybody and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess, you know, having dealt with it my whole life, because honestly, since I started dating men, I've never dated. I've always dated black men my entire life. That's all I've ever been attracted to. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we are beautiful creatures. Yeah, you are. I love me a beautiful chocolatey man. <laughs> yeah, we are beautiful man. Yeah. You know, so um, you know, and I so like I said, you know, back in you know, I'm I'm an OG now, but back in the '90s, you know, I caught a lot of flack from white and black people because I dated inter- interracially. But mm-hmm. honestly, I'm so heavy and stand so strong on who I am as an individual that. I don't, that doesn't even phase me anymore. Like you said, we fight our battles in other ways. We don't fight them physically because it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, life is too short. You know, yeah. I'm sure you've lost people you love. Lost a lot. You know, a me lot. too. Um, Mine's family members, friends, but some of them not dead. <laughs> right. They they did they did to they us. They did they did to me. Nah, I don't right. Fool, I don't fool with them folk no more. Listen, <laughs> I, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm they, they, they rest in peace. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> rest in peace. Listen, I you sound yeah. like me. I'm so cutthroat. Yeah. Rest in peace. It don't take but one time for you mm-hmm. to screw me over and I'm done with you. You see, I ain't bring nobody. I like see you see I ain't got no like so I'm low, low. I be that's so fact. I got my see I'm married I got my wife and my child that's it that's all I need that's listen I, need. I I got a significant other at home too and mm-hmm. and really that's I'm at a point in my life excuse me, I'm in my forties now I'm in my life where a point in my life where peace of mind is everything mm-hmm. you can't buy that. You know what I'm saying? So it comes with you being um, around a small surroundings. I'm I'm slick introverted. People don't be believing me when I tell them that, but I am. Yeah. But anyways, I, I, I became introverted. Well, sometimes COVID you know, COVID did that. Yeah, COVID did it for a lot of people it, because it, they they started be chilling by themselves and realized how much they liked their peace of mind. Mom was family, man. Yeah, That's you know cool. you got yeah I'm introverted to towards family. Man. Yeah, I'm absolutely. I'm listen. I'm with you, bro. Um, so. Before you started doing music, mm-hmm. was there something else that you were interested in doing? Like, did you have a desire to be something else when you grew up? When um, an actor and art. Okay. Actor. You like to draw? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how I started drawing and acting. So I like I always be goofy, you know, <laughs> com- comedy. Oh, so you would be the comedy role? Yeah, comedy, You'd be the funny com- guy? Comedy actor. Yeah, some, <laughs> but. My favorite rapper was Tupac, so I always looked at him in his movies. Listen, shout out to Tupac. He was Tupac, so legendary. Yeah, yeah man. They're my, they're, my, they're my favorite artist, number one. My family and everybody that know me, hey, they, I get on their nerves because I be bumping Tupac all the time. Quick funny all story. My very first mm-hmm. tattoo that I got when I was probably, yeah. I think I was maybe 18, yeah. it said Thug Life on my ankle. It's now been covered up. But oh, for real? I was such See, a- I wanted tattoos. 
<laughs> but hey man, I can't do it. I said, when I touch that needle, like they let me touch it. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh yeah, like Excuse look. Me I'm gonna show y'all <laughs> this one right here. Yeah. Boy, that one had me in tears. Mm -mm. That one hurt. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I like them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they look good. You just don't want the needles. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like a good look. Like, like, Most definitely. So like tu art. Tupac was a major inspiration for you. You love art. Um, have you have you do you what type of drawings do you do? Do you do it to people, stuff? Like what type of drawings do you do? Um, uh, I started off drawing an elephant. Okay. I was like five years old. I drew it real good, like an elephant. That's so dope. Everything else is just like nature and then like I said, I was a fan of Tupac, so a lot of Tupac, Tupac stuff, yeah, and um, superheroes and comic. Okay. I had my own comic book I was starting, but I uh, I wasn't consistent with. It. I just gave up on it. But I had a lot of comic book called the Z Warriors. I, why don't you ever bring it back? It could be digital yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. You know, that's iconic right yeah, there, bro. Yeah. Like nobody's Z doing Warriors, that right now. Yeah, Z Warriors, but um, you need to you need good. to bring that back. Mm -hmm. because the reason why, because if you look at well, you look well, if you look at my music. Like this, like my new single Gecko, mm -hmm. got cartoon in. Oh, okay. So I'm bringing, you know, what I'm saying animated. In That's my, dope. In my life, so. Most definitely. If you you got to watch the video, y'all. Y'all got to watch the video to see how how I started. So Gecko stand for a long time. <laughs> Do you? I know you said you you drew like nature and stuff like that. Is that still an interest for you? Because I'm a major nature junkie. That's why I don't eat animals anymore. Well, <laughs> nature, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, monkeys, all that gorillas. And yeah. Yeah, I drew all that dinosaurs. That's dragons, so dope. Birds, really dragons. I yeah. Love, I like dragons for some reason. That's I mean, so funny because I used to have a dragon tattoo right here and yeah. it got covered up because I, I had it forever and it got like faded out and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and had it covered up. Yeah, I like I like mystical. Mm -hmm. T it's Tampa mystic. I like mystical type stuff, stuff that like unicorns and <laughs> and dragons. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I you know, Dragon Ball Z. No, I was drawing all that, you know, everything, all that. That's dope, man. So why music? What what turned your interest into music? Um, I know you were a fan of Tupac and mm -hmm. probably some other people, but why personally did you start doing music? Well, my family, uh, my mother, you know, that was I came from a gospel background, so yeah, and um, that's how I really started. I just fell in love with it, watching again Tupac and DMX, Busta Rhymes, when I was a youngin, you know, watching them on TV. No, imitate. I I used to spit they rhymes in school and thought uh, and tell folks do my rhymes. <laughs> I, was, I was eight. I was like seven years old. You know how you, uh, you know how in the cafeteria <laughs> yeah. they be beating on the table. Yeah. I'm spitting. I'm spitting. Uh, spit, uh, Tupac. Uh, what's that song? I get money. Yeah. And you I told people. Money. You told people that was your record. Yeah, my raps. <laughs> that's how. But that's how I learned how to rap. Like. I used to, uh, then, I, then I'm like, man, I'm my rap. I'm my, I'm my Let me own. write my own. Yeah, I was eight. Dang, yeah. so taking it back to then, when you first started writing, what were you writing about? Uh, money. <laughs> Getting that's, money. That's it, money. Money and uh, my first my first rhyme was skinny like a penny. I kept saying, <laughs> one saying no words. Skinny like a penny. Skinny like a penny. Nini, 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 nini. <laughs> Take you to the Denny's. <laughs> that was about it. That was my first rap for real. Drink a little henny. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't saying I'm no, just messing with you. You was, was eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like skinny like a penny. Start out there then gibberish. Then I start rhyming. Then I start learning and start rapping fast. Bone thugs got me. In the because I, I was in the, uh, some of my faves. Yeah, Bone Thugs got me to rapping real fast. Me and my homeboy. Man, yeah. that's dope. You sound like you had some great people that inspired you. You know what I'm saying? Pac is one of the greatest Old ever. Old school. Tricks. Bone Thugs. One Naughty of the, by nature. Yeah, Naughty by nature. Harley, yeah. The nineties. The uh, Lost Boys. The Big L's. Man, uh, East I'll, Coast rap. Yeah, and I'm from Jackson, Tennessee. Right, and that's uh, ten Jackson, Tennessee, or Tennessee on the west. West Tennessee is heavily influenced by Memphis. Right. So you got gangster, what gangster black, gangster boo, player fly. Yep. All that. Yeah, and absolutely. Three Six Mafia. Three Six Mafia. A lot of greats came out of Memphis. See, Project was, Pat. Yeah. You know. I wasn't even listening to none of that. I was listening to East Coast and West Coast because <laughs> that's how my mom would listen to. She said that stuff is trash. She said all that, all that, all that. Uh, what they were talking about that stuff trash. <laughs> <laughs> so mom, Duke <laughs> Slick had an influence on on. Yeah, your... my mama, my mama was a rapper too. Oh, okay. My mama rap. That's dope, yeah. man. That's dope. Was all your family still in the Jackson area? Mm hmm. Yeah, some of them still in Montezuma and Henderson, so yeah. So uh, when you first started really pursuing music, what did your family think? What did your mom think? Oh, they hated me. <laughs> they said, man, you can't rap. They hated on me. 
They said, you can't rap, man. You suck. Because I did a show. What? I did a talent show. Uh, <laughs> I was like in fifth grade. So everything started off young. I did a talent show. I was rapping uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Uh, what's that, that money song with Easy? What's that? Oh, for the love yeah, of for money. Yeah, for the love of money. I was doing that. <laughs> man. I, Gotta get that money. I was, I was not rapping good at all. I wasn't even saying that. I was scared of my life on stage. And my cousin... <laughs> Was with me on stage. He was my hype man. I was like, full of love, the money. Got to get the money, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I just froze because dude, dude was supposed to say a part. And he didn't do it. He froze on stage. So we both froze. So I was just in the middle of the stage in front of the whole school. Just cut the music off. Cut it off. My oh, cousin man. like, nah, keep going. He playing with the music. <laughs> yeah. Just picking on me. Say, like, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, the crowd cheered. I'm like, man, I ain't do that. <laughs> my mama said, man, you, man, you suck. <laughs> my mama honest. So. I mean, hey, you got to keep people. But you know what, though? Mm. Like, I don't honestly think that there's any artist that comes into this being good out yeah. the gate. My mama was my first hater. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy believed in my mama was my first hater. Now, that's Facts. hilarious. Facts. That's hilarious. You Facts. know what I'm saying? She was keeping a G with you, though. You know Man, what I'm saying? I, I, I love it. Listen, that's what you got to do. You got to have people around you because that's going to inspire you to want to get better, mm -hmm. to and do I, some and more. I, and I got better when I hit high school. Real good. First song on the radio was uh, called So You Mad Now. It was all over the radio in Memphis and Jackson. So I don't know how Memphis picked it up. Hey, but. shoot, one of them DJs heard yeah, it and said, yeah, that's man. that's a hit right there. Yeah. How was, I mean, that probably was a a change in your career of saying, you know what, I'm really making moves out here. My music's on the radio. You know what I'm saying? How did that feel for you to, to put a song out when you're still fairly new in it and it already hit radio? Well, I kept going, you know, and I wasn't solo either. I was, uh, I was in a group. I'm not mentioning them. <laughs> <laughs> right, but now nah, that was in the past. Yeah, that was in the past. But I was in a group. I'm gonna mention them. They call it was called YP. You know, that's how I originally started. Like, yeah, taking it serious. YP. You know, the East Jackson was handing. You know, the East Side. Yeah, YP. And um, yeah, man, I just kept going. Then that group broke up because they <laughs> thought they were big in a small town, man. Small town, small mind. Nah, so, for real. Facts. That is so, major facts. That's crazy though. You, some like, some people have big dreams in a small town. <laughs> nah, for real, because it's way bigger than that. It's period. Bigger. They think that's the world. So that group ended. You know. I'm like, oh, Rest nah. in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> facts and um, but I still, I still, I still rep because you know. That's why I started. Nah, you know? for real. You, yeah, you were gonna so. always represent where we started, even if the situation was horrible. Yeah, it's not a good one. You still don't have ties there. You can't forget where you came from and where it all started. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like one of the first priests of people that helped me out in this. I don't. I ain't talked to that person in forever. You know, just because they on some Hollywood stuff. But yeah. it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We doing a okay right now. You know. Yeah. Um, what is the music scene like out there in the Jackson area for independent artists like yourself coming up? Man, it's saturated. It's a lot of rappers out there. A lot yeah. of talent. You know, you got, you know, some people, you know, you got, you got Pimp, you got Pimp Tastic, VVS, you got myself, you got, um, uh, this, this upcoming artist, you know, well, we, we all upcoming. Shout out <laughs> to VVS too. That's my yeah, dog too. Yeah. See the, I, he he gave me a little advice, you know. Yeah. That's why you know I shout him out. Absolutely, he, he good gave dude. me advice on a, um, a lot of stuff, like especially when it comes to performing. Right. Because down there, in him performing, I liked it. Yeah. You know, some people hate on me. I liked it. And now for real. That's what you need sometimes. So you need, he gave me a little advice. You know, you got Calvin Ross. That's who really put me put me in it. You know, Calvin Ross. Um, He's he's staying in Atlanta now, so and um it's a lot of artists out there. It's the music saying shoot, they sleeping on us. So let me ask you this then, with there being a lot of artists in your city, some of them are making moves. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean <laughs> No, nah, we keep it all the way G. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, if, pe some of them. if people's feelings get hurt by us being honest, then yeah. they they're in the wrong business. Yeah, my my thing is your feelings ain't my feelings. No, nah, for real. Because <laughs> at the end of the Facts. day, at the end of the yeah. day, they're not thinking about us anyway. Yeah. Nobody goes to bed thinking about what you're doing or what I'm doing. Because yeah. I don't go to bed thinking about what anybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? So we, it don't matter what their thoughts are because they ain't really slick thinking about us anyway. Um, but with, all, with that said, like all the artists that are out there in Jackson, 
what makes you different than everybody else out there? Well, I got my own swag. Like, like everybody got their own swag. But me, I'm just, I'm that boy. That boy Zed, that would make me different. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Zed, the dancing, like, all my stuff is, is different. If you hear me, like, rap is different. I don't even, the way I'm talking now, yeah. I, don't, I don't even rap like this. Like, ha, but, that boy. But you that's know, good though. You you, know. you want to because that's a shock factor. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? That's People don't what, believe me. That's my song. <laughs> that's a good thing yeah, though. Man. You know, because you you want to be. Your voice is an instrument. Mm -hmm. You gotta use it as such by producing different sounds with it, different flows, different mm -hmm. deliveries, all that. You know what I'm saying? And if mm -hmm. you were out here putting music out and people don't even know it's you, I think that's a good thing. Yeah. You know what I'm my saying? Song, my records are bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> it be records, like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what made me different, man. I just stand out the way I dress, stand out. You know the the foots, the shoes stand. I know out. he got the clean, clean yeah, white sneakers shoe. on today. I, I'm afraid I don't want to yeah, kick one of them. You think you thinking they uh, they regular sneakers? You thinking they is? They come straight out of Star Wars. If I cut them on. <laughs> nah, uh, they they light up. They light up. Come yeah. on now, oh, let me light see light. the lights. Please. Oh my goodness, I'm about to get. I gotta. Oh, 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 I remember you had those on on stage. Yes. I'm, I'm, hey man, it's that season. Yeah, those are hard. It's that season. I remember you performed with those on, and I remember I was like, "Yo, those are hard." From this that season, <laughs> I'm way different, man. You folk can't mess with me. But listen. That's what it's about is being different, F finding ways to stand out because we ain't trying to fit in with nobody else. No. And you got to do it. All my stuff futuristic too, man. Unapologetically. Yeah. Don't, it don't matter what anybody, if someone thinks it's weird, good. I like being weird. Yeah. I got green fingernails. Some mm -hmm. people might be like, yo, that's weird as heck, but yeah. hey. I like, I like that. I like different. being different. Exactly. Yeah, okay. we got to stand. You know, another thing I peeped, I like them beads you got on too. Hey, Talk to us about those. Hey, man, they just beads. <laughs> but be some people some people think it's you know spiritual or whatever but, but me. The, you know what though whether you know it or not and it's mm -hmm. something you could like look into deeper because i wear beads actually my dad makes all mine for me okay. they they have their energy they oh, produce okay. energy well i guess me i just you know yeah. i mean i'm they just beads they're they're a fashion statement they're for just you a fashion just a fashion <laughs> but they me. do have deep meaning to them just so you know you know oh, what i'm saying okay. if you ever want to look into it you know okay. what i'm saying i'm i'm a spiritual type person oh, you know okay. what i'm saying for sure okay. um okay. you know you came out here to atlanta mm. you rocked the stage at my 10 year anniversary which i was grateful for you know i appreciate that man um when you come out to the a what's the experience like for you man, coming to the a was like when i was younger that was like a dream come true yeah when i was younger but now it's just it's just like a regular place. Yeah. You know, but it's a lot of network down here. There. It's a lot of movements. See, I was very influenced by Atlanta. Very. I know I have a, you know, old school. Like, that's just when I was like eight as a baby. You know, that's where the <laughs> flows come in, like <laughs> lyrically. But the dressing, the the everything I do was from Atlanta. Who were, okay, let's talk about that. For who, real. Who, who, were there anybody in particular out here that, you know, you were, like, tapped into, motivated by? Man, the whole west side of Bankhead. Okay. The whole west side. The, the Cedar Isle, Schoolie. Yeah. Rich Kids. Futuristic area. Jay yeah. Money. Jay Futuristic. Them French Eye Boys. Yeah. Jizzle Man. Oh yeah! So yeah, you, did I, you get did you get to meet, connect I, I, with him at the event? I appreciate him. Yeah, man. he a I good dude, him, man. I see he had that he got that boy on his joint too. <laughs> Talk to us about it. You jizzle man, man. <laughs> you still jizzle man to me. <laughs> I don't know what that dead boy is for, oh, but me. That boy stand for dynamic and terrific, and boy stand for I got a baby face. Yeah, he does. Yeah. You, yeah, you do. Is yeah. Zell part of your? Uh, that's my name. That's your. I was saying that's yeah. your government name. That's my name. My name is Denzel. Oh, okay. Oh, that's we got Denzel in the building, y'all. Denzel's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Training day. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best movies ever. Oh, yeah, Michael Mitch. <laughs> King mm. Kong ain't got None. ish on me. <laughs> Yo, Jay. <laughs> All that. Yeah, yeah, man, that's so dope. So, but, them, but um. People be people be picking on this man, Soldier Boy. I was a fan of Soldier Boy. I listen. I mean, too. You know, I like, about when he first started. Yeah. To crank that. Yeah. I wanted to make a song. Everybody, every rapper, want to do a dance and have a hit song. Want to have a dance and a hit song. 
every rapper well, back then. Let me ask you this, since you just talked about that. You said a lot of people make fun of him. Make and fun of him. and I've been watching the uh, series on Prime with Lizzo. I'm a big fan of Lizzo, and I love the fact that she just stands for who she is. And she talks about how, like, she's been ridiculed and picked on because of her size. And I just, to me, that's a part of ignorance as well. It's a form of racism. If you're picking on someone because they're overweight, you know, like, you don't know what that person is going through, right? Yeah. Um, but with that being said, becoming a celebrity, whether it's an actor or, or an artist or something, when you get to us, that all comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, talk to us about that. Like, you know, you, you get things popping and people are going to be hating on you left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, they, they bullies, man. You know what you got to do? To you got to put what you do to bullies. You got to prove them wrong. Yeah. So, and not and, and so. I know in school and they, they, they bully me. You got to you got to <laughs> like not let them know that it affects you, though, like mm -hmm. in a sad kind of way, because they're going to do it more. Yeah. They thrive off of that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so what you do? Make more money? <laughs> Buy more land? Hey, let them hate more. Do I know that's right. You know, do, do whatever. Because that's motivation. You know, get more girls? Whatever. Nah, slick. <laughs> whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever. <laughs> uh, get what, more interviews. They come exactly. Get more interviews. You know? Facts. And then we talk about them on here. Yeah, <laughs> talk about how ignorant yeah, they are. Hey, man. These folks are ignorant. They here. ignorant. You know? <laughs> they ignorant. <laughs> they ignorant. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. For mm -hmm. real, man. Um. Where do you want to go with your music? Like, if we could fast forward three to five years, what are we going to catch you doing musically? Man, you're going to see me do a lot of big things, man, like animation, um, the clothes. I'm, I'm getting in the clothes. I'm getting in it now. Yeah. Uh, my brand going to be yeah. bigger. That boy going to be bigger. That boy Zell will be bigger. I ain't going to say for a couple years, what, 10 years. Everybody say 10 years, five. Where you going to be in five years? Man, where I'm going to be tomorrow? Yeah. I'm going to be going up, 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 up till I make it, man. Keep going. And I heard you mention something earlier about Grammys. being an actor, too. Is that something that still interests you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we're going to catch you at the Grammys. You're going you to catch, catch me at the Grammys. You're going to catch me at the Oscars. Don't slap nobody. I will. But they disrespect. <laughs> they disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing, man. That was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that was you know, ridiculous. You're going to catch me at the Oscars. You're going to catch me at the B. You said that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous, man. Like, Will Smith, man. I'm like, man, that's a comedian, man. Yeah, like that's your job is to clown people. Yeah, man. I'm like, you should have slapped all these. I didn't even slap August, man. Right. But he said it was built up. I had built up my ankle though before, so not for real. But I, I confronted that person, not the, not the. But you don't want to. Yeah, you slap someone on national television. Yeah. It's like whoa. He's going to jail, man. Yeah. I'm surprised he ain't in jail. Right. Man. But they, I guess Chris said he ain't want to press no charges. So I you know. would. <laughs> You're like, I want to throw the book at him. Yeah, you gone, bro. I'm you of you humiliated it's me on national. The, yeah, it's time to get rid of the simps, man. Especially like you said, dog. We all know that he's a dog on comedian, man. Like that's what they do is they clown people. Like, mm. and you know, you can't be in this industry and be that sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, you said that you want to hit the Grammys. You want to hit the Oscar. Let's talk about film because you said acting was an interest for you. Mm -hmm. You would want to play the comedy role. You'd be the funny guy. I'd be the funny or serious. I could do it all, but hey, man, with, uh, Ice Cube, come holler at us, man. Oh, that's one of my favorites. He's such a dope actor. And, I, and yeah. that's, that's what I love. A lot of these artists, they transition into film yeah. at a certain point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Fridays. But I, I think Dion, I think it's over. Friday, what it's called? Friday after next. I'm yeah. New one. I mean, they keep saying he's going to make another one. Are they? It's uh, over with. Yeah, they just need to let it sit where it's at. You see what happened to uh, the Eddie Murphy movie, the Coming, Coming to America. Yeah, that, fl with. that flopped. I, the, the, <laughs> the new one was not good to me. People are dying now. Man, it's over with. Debo it, gone. Yeah. Pop's gone. Right. Chris Tucker, he, uh, I don't he know getting what? overweight. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's old with, man. Yeah, y'all just need to... be a Netflix movie. Yeah, you just need to dead that. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Friday. Yeah, just make a new movie, man. <laughs> right, make new a series. whole new movie. Big See, facts. And uh, just movies and really Jackson, man, need the same, man. Jackson need the same, so I guess I'll be that same. Would you ever think about moving up out of that city? Of course. Coming to somewhere <laughs> like Atlanta? Of course. Would that you? Was, that's the goal me and my wife were talking I was about. just going to ask you, so your wife would be on board with that? Yes, because she... she she hates Jackson. Well, then bring her here. She would <laughs> yeah. love this city. Yeah, man. 
I'm uh we we talking about we were talking about that for what since last year. Like we need to move up there. Absolutely. We and move, um move down here. We need to move down here. There's a lot of dope areas out here. Like I know you said you came from like north of the city mm-hmm. and um that that's me. I live north of the city too, but I could still get downtown in 25, 30 minutes if I need yeah, to. Yeah, that's what my advisor says. So, hey man, live outside of Atlanta. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's just sh- like it's a it's a it's a it's a county. In Georgia, just like Jackson. Oh, okay. Somewhere. Yeah, just absolutely. Somewhere. Facts. Somewhere. So you just gotta find it. So. I'm I'm in Gwinnett, which is like North Atlanta, and um, yeah, there ain't you know you don't deal with all the hustle and bustle of being downtown. The traffic's crazy. crazy. It's expensive. Yeah. Buckhead, there's a lot of crime. They're constantly carjacking and mm-hmm. robbing. Like you got a family. You gotta yeah. you gotta be mindful of that. So and yeah. I got a daughter and got one on the way. So yeah. Oh, I congratulations. I, I, it. I want them. I want them to be. Be raised down here. So my suggestion would be definitely hit the north side of Atlanta. Okay. Okay. Hands down, you know, like no disrespect to the other areas, but I think if you're wanting to, to you know, raise your kids and, you know, have a, a safe place for your wife, you know, definitely somewhere in, in north Atlanta would be good. Um, that's the that's the move, man. Yeah, that's man. Yeah, and especially with what you got going on, you got a lot of stuff in the vault, a lot of stuff working, I you know. You need to be where it's at. You need to be where it's all at. That, all that. Driving and I, I might well be where is it? Nah, you know? that's what I did. I told you I was flying up here every yeah. month for work, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna move there. Move there. <laughs> what held me back back then, man, was fear. Yeah, fear, man. it will. Fear will hold you. It back. sure will. But it's okay to be scared, man. Of course, because you don't you don't know what what's gonna happen once it's, you it's get okay. here. It's okay because uh, and and when you go through that fear or face it, hey. You know how strong you is. Absolutely. You know how you know, how, you know, you know how you built. So when you can face it head on and work through it, yeah. from there on out, everything's gonna be a blessing. God's gonna handle the rest of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to get too like spiritual or nothing, but that's just no, what God, it is. God will handle it. Man. He does. You know, like he I'm a will. I'm a big believer in taking risk. Uh-huh. I moved here in 2013 yeah. by myself, no family and really no friends. I knew Bigger and Kingpin and a couple other people, but. Yeah. I didn't have no real connections here. I came here dolo. Yeah, that hit. That hit. That hit my wife too when you said. That. <laughs> when you said that uh, when, when I performed. Yeah. That hit her. She said, "Yeah, yes." She was about to say, "Amen." Almost. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, take the risk. Yes. yes. It hit us. Yes. Well, yeah, when you said that, make your uh what best move? Your, what? what you said something like this. Yeah, you you have to. You have make your first move the best move. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that just hit us, man. Yeah. That, and I and I love that because. You I know, would, I would have been down here. You, you I'm, listen, <laughs> if, I I, if you come here, God's going to handle the rest for you. I promise you mm-hmm. that because you because you're a good man. Yeah. You're a family man. You're taking care of your family. Yeah. And and bigger talks about this all the time. Like if you and this ain't throwing it all at the men, but we'll we'll save men for right now. If you are a man and you're not doing right by your family, God will not bless you. But it goes on the other side. If I'm a woman and I'm not doing right by my family, I'm not going to be blessed. Yeah. But you're doing right by your family, your wife and your kids. You want to make a better life for them. Yeah. God's going to bless you. Yeah. You know. So go ahead and get your bags packed. Tell wifey we going, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout, shout out to my wife and shout, <laughs> shout out to Bigger too, man, cuz He's hey, the man, biggest OG. That man been doing it for years. Yeah. I've been watching him during that futuristic yeah. yeah. So yeah. And for some, he goes to dialysis three days a week. Man, when he said that, I'm like, man, he's sick, man. Oh, yeah. God, he he sits in there. I think it's for four hours, starting at like six in the morning. My 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 uncle had it. Uh, he man. passed away though. He I, passed away. So it yeah. wasn't because of the. I think I think it was because his kidney. But That's he had, crazy. He, had a, he already had a disease, man. And yeah. Shut down his kidney. So. So man, life moves on. You got to live right and yeah. eat right, man. No, nah, that's the biggest facts ever. You just got to take care of yourself because, yeah, you know. And I, I posted about it. I posted a, one of my interviews yesterday because when I moved out here, I lost 65 pounds. I started working out with a trainer, and he taught me how to eat better, and he started working out with me. And I had a major testimony. I lost 65 pounds is a lot. And um, I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, where none of us are getting younger. Every day we're getting a little older. Yeah. What we do now or, or, you know, what you do in your 20s and 30s, trust me, it's going to catch up to you in your 60s, 70s, and 80s. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are dying way too young because they're not taking care of themselves. Especially my generation. Right. Eating oh. like crap. 
eating like crap, smoking, uh, everything. Doing, like, doing weird drugs that they yeah, shouldn't man, be doing. Ain't no wrong smoking, man. You no. gonna smoke, smoke. No, nah, for real. If you gonna mix it with something, you crazy, Yeah, bro. just keep it straight. Just, yeah, man. You know, some some Mary Jane. Yeah. Mary Jane. I, I, used to, I used to do, I mean, I ain't never pop no pill, but I used to sit drink. I used to sip drink when I was like what, 17, 18, when I was in a group. But, you know, I mean, no, y- you got past that, though. Yeah, I'm past that. I'm just saying I wasn't sick. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, that, that drink, man, you ain't sick. What you drinking it for, man? Uh, right. You know? Exactly. These folks got conditions. Some of these rappers <laughs> got conditions. That's why they promoting drink, man. They they, they sick. <laughs> That's why. That's why they taking that drink, but... If you ain't sick, man, don't be drinking it. No, nah, you know? I like to, when I'm out, I don't, and I don't drink alcohol either. I don't yeah. drink any kind of liquor. Cause like when I'm out, I like to have a clear head. I need to be aware of my surroundings and what's going on. And you know, you start drinking, it kind of slows your reactions down. You especially, know, especially as an artist, man, performing. Yeah. You saw me at that, uh, you know, at the, at the showcase, you know, I had a lot of energy. You had a great performance. I had a lot of energy. Man. You, yeah. I don't. I don't I don't do nothing. Cause you were you were you were probably drinking water. Water, work out, do yeah. everything. I dance. Me and my sister. See, it would have been better if I had my sister. She a dancer. Too. Oh, that's dope. She yeah. in Jackson too. Yeah, she in Jackson. Shout out so, to her. Yeah. She she. How long has she been doing dance? Man, we, since we yeah we did it together. When we that's so dope. So, yeah. Dance, that's a great man. exercise too, right there. Mm-hmm. That's a whole workout. Mm-hmm. We gonna dance after this interview. <laughs> <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna see what the move, move turn is. up. Yeah, we gonna do we gonna do a little song. <laughs> yeah. um, musically, you know, what are you working on right now? Do you have any albums in the works, or have you released recently? Well, right now, uh, I'm still pushing Gecko and my other single Danger. Still pushing these two records. See, that's what's wrong with some of the artists, man. They be having sixteen albums. <laughs> And who's, and, who, and who's listening and to them? nobody's listening to no, them. No, they Nobody can hear you, bro. <laughs> Nobody can hear us. So I'm pushing these singles till they move. You're doing the right thing, bro. Yeah, man. You know how long a single could pop? It could take years. Years? Man, forever. Yes. You gotta, you gotta keep pushing, man. Because like, the whole world hasn't heard it yet, so it's still a new record. It's 50 states, 7 continents. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> right. I'm like, dip, thousands of countries. Come yeah. on, man. Come on, you got to keep pushing, man. So I'm pushing these singles till they move. And the next one that's going to come, I'm still working on it right now. They just called Soda, man. They got like a little New Orleans bounce to it. You know, the females, I want y'all to shake it. The fellas, I want y'all to throw y'all rags up when they doing that I thing. Know, we bringing right. about the 9 nines and the 2000 on that record. You know, <laughs> so, yeah. You, know, hey, you got any strip club records? Strip club record. That's one right there. That's one of them? Yeah, man. And when I was in a group, because... Not that group. Before the, uh, after that group broke up, I got another group. It was like a duo called Zell and Mike. We had a little strip club junk called Turn Around and Clap. That group broke up <laughs> <laughs> because, hey man, he had a little family business. You know, I, you know, he had a little family thing going yeah. on. Yeah, so, yeah, man. So. Let me let me ask you this: Since you've been a part of some groups and now you do everything, you know, solo, solo, solo dolo. You prefer that? Yes, I love it. <laughs> 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 I love it. I ain't gotta worry about you. You, you, I could just do what I need to do. Bro, I'm yeah. with you. I yeah. do so much stuff by myself. That's good, man. I do a lot by myself. I my- did a lot by myself, too. Yeah, Still you know. It, so. Yeah, me too. Because like you said, you ain't got to worry about Because sometimes them other people around you, they be slick hating on you. Mm-hmm. Or they hold you back. They don't want to move the way you, you want to yeah. move. Yeah. They're going to tarnish your brand. Like, you just got to be mindful of all that. Or, you know? they, or they be thinking they famous. Like man, we made a record. We famous. Yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna go do my own thing. What? Okay, bye, <laughs> bye. I, I, but I'll be like, man, what? We, Cause I'm, lo- I, I was loyal, man. Yeah, I, I'm still loyal. But of course. I was like loyal, man. I'm like, man, what you doing, man? Let's keep going. Then he lo- lose faith and branch out do his own thing. All right, bye then. Yeah, I'm bye. Do your own thing. Let it go. Um, so for everybody that's checked in, tuned in, tell them about the current single that you're pushing, where it's available, so they can go support the movement. Gecko is out now on all platforms, you know, everywhere. Apple, Spotify, YouTube, everything that independent artists is doing, man. It's, it's all on there. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. It's everywhere, man. I want y'all to do the dance. The gecko dance, that's really a random dance. You can do whatever dance you want. Just dance. That's what gecko. Whatever you were doing for a long time, that's geckos. My lingo. Gecko. Does it stand for something? Long time. Stand for long time. See, see, back then, I mean, I always thought, well, I, I got it from my grandma because I always thought she was uh, 
So I was doing that way get go, like get go, yeah, yeah, get go or something. I was like, man, I always thought she said get go, right? So I just made a song, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Go with what you thought she was saying, yeah. but it made sense to you. Yeah, I was like, yeah, get go, you know. Definitely. Well, yeah. make sure you guys go check that out. Um, yeah. Before we get up out of here, though, there's three things I need you to do. Of course, one, tell everybody where they can actually follow you on all your social platforms. Man, follow me everywhere. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, D-A-T-B-O-Y-Z-3-L. That boy Zale. Everywhere. 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 Anybody you want to show some love to, shout out to? Again, yeah, man, shout out to my wife. Shout out to my, my child, my family out there in Jackson, Tennessee. Um, my advisors, um, let that boy cook my producer, you know, out there in Little Rock, Arkansas, you know, shout out to y'all, man. DJ Hype Man. Shout out to Hype Man Crook. That's my dog. DJ Hype Man. man. <laughs> and my, and my partner right there, man. He the one that got me all in this, man. Yeah, he a good dude. That's my dog, man. He's solid as they come for facts, real. Facts. Again, man, my advisor, keep his maze, man. Shout out to you too, man. Last but not least, and this is the most important question of the whole conversation we had. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we live on the Industry's Most Wanted podcast. I got that boy Zell checking in. He was also one of the performers at the 10-year anniversary. So I got to know what makes you the Industry's Most Wanted. Most Wanted, man. You don't see me. <laughs> you don't see me, man. <laughs> Pop your ish. Man, I'm, man, it's that season. That's all I'm going to say. It's that season. I'm most wanted. You did. season. Man. We up out of here, y'all. Yeah, man. Mm.